to me about the effort Joe here to like the TIE is and uh I guess y'all heard about the home uh Bill Cosby idea where these women are sitting up there saying that he raped them, which I kinda of think is bullshit. Which I don't think he did. And what the reason why I say that is because this story broke at the time where the DA down in Ferguson, Missouri was about to indict the cop who killed Michael Brown. Now this story broke about Bill Cosby raping Williams happened uh, a few days ago, like almost a week, and I thought it was kind of bullshit how these women are sitting up here saying that he he raped them, which I don't think he did because 17 women over the last 50 years saying that 50 or 60 years saying that he uh, that Bill Cosby raped them, I think is bullshit because why well, wait over 50 to 60 years of this and there's been stories of women coming forward uh, the next day of being raped or something like that because I know it, it makes no sense that you'll wait this long to say I've been raped and there's no proof or no evidence to back up that Bill Cosby ever raped you or anything and he has been looked at the first time he's been accused of rape and I thought okay this is kind of fucked up to accuse him a man that's been in the business for so long and for women to come out and say or he raped me. I said rape is a serious ordeal. Rape is a serious thing. And I wouldn't be throwing that rape word around so much. Especially at a set of people. Because one thing is I'm looking at it. I was like it's something funny about some of these celebrities that get in these scandals. Get on. Like they don't get. Like they. Like it's like his entertainment is black and white. Every time you look at the media, it tells you black black folks, bad white folks, good. Like nothing can happen to white folks, and black folks are always fucked up. Like I've always noticed that when you see that governor, or that senator, whatever he was, they cheated on his wife, his sick wife with cancer, cheated on his sick wife with cancer with a mistress, with the babysitter, no, with the nanny or babysitter and got the babysitter slash nanny whatever she was pregnant and then his wife dies and and it's like come on how can you can say oh there's been other celebrities that got hit harder than that for real you really gonna do that I said how about putting this man's career through this shit his wife through this shit his wife through it his, he's going through hell because you can all these women saying he raped me and not now one of these women are any other minority except for white women and it's awfully funny when it's a black celebrity it's always going to be somebody that's a white victim that's going to be a white victim it's never other never other uh, fucking a uh, 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 Minority, because this, through this whole damn time, I never seen another woman, another minority, come forward saying I got raped by Bill Cosby. I didn't see a a black woman say I got raped by Bill Cosby. I never seen a uh, Asian woman come forward say I got raped by Bill Cosby. But it's a it's white women saying it. It's to happen. It it happened. The same thing happened to Tiger Woods when he got caught in his scandal what happened white women came forward and said I had sex with Tiger Woods I slept with Tiger Woods and there was 18 women that said the same damn thing that they slept with Tiger Woods for a week and he lost everything they put this man through hell same with Michael Jackson what happened a lot of white families sat there and said that Michael Jackson molested their kids. It was only white families that said that. I'm not saying white folks are bad. I'm just saying that these are that this don't make sense that only one something like for these damn scandals. You never sit there and looked at it, it's like people never step back and looked at it, it's like for real, how come it's only whites so only sitting up for saying that these people that Bill Cosby, Tiger Woods or 
how come there's only white people saying that they did this stuff and then no other person said it but whites I like it's not but to me it's not believable because you get all these women sitting up there one like half of them are, like their job professions are lawyer actress and reporter if you're a lawyer why couldn't you just say go talk to a colleague and say he write me got a, a DNA uh, what is a rape kit done and then get her done same if you was a reporter did the same do do the same things follow reporting all this and that they couldn't have do it they couldn't have did it they couldn't these women sat here and waited for so damn long even the one that sat there trying to foul on him back in 05 where was the damn rape kit where was the evidence? Where was the proof to show that this man had raped you or drugged you? There isn't none. We are based in this whole story and this case off of what hearsay. So this man is getting accused of rape because of what 17 women has a vendetta against a black man with a good image? Is that what it is? Maybe I should have started tanking white white celebrities with a good image maybe I should go out there and start uh, what is it Patrick uh, Neil Pat what if, what if I started saying Neil Patrick Harris raped me in my ass what if I started saying that about Neil Patrick Harris then nobody wouldn't believe well people kind of would have believed that Neil Pat Doogie Howser raped me in my ass people would have believed that if that would have if that would have happened but you see what I'm saying it's all these women that had every chance to have this done back in that time period that he's supposed to rape y'all. But he, to me, he didn't. It's just based off of hearsay. Then you sit up there saying, then I know there's going to be people, that's racist. No, it's just proven facts. Three damn stories with the three damn MOs, people trying to get money off these people. Think about it. Tiger Woods went through it. Michael Jackson went through it. Now Bill Cosby's going through it. Why ain't y'all put this shit together? And for one thing is, this story happens to come in right around the time they about to indict that damn police officer that killed Michael Brown. Come on, put two and two together, people. And stop being such a dumbass. For real, a world fam a famous blank person named Bill Cosby get and people want to sit up and say, I got raped him. I got raped by Bill Cosby, and it's nothing but white women. I ain't see one black girl, one Asian girl, one Hawaiian girl, no other minority women sit up there that came forward and said, I got raped by Bill Cosby. But 17 white bitches can come up and say that shit? Now, you got to think about it. That, now, think about it. I think he's getting set up, man. Cause it makes no sense. On It makes no sense that he's getting accused of something that he didn't do. He's getting, I'm for real, Bill Cosby is getting accused of something he didn't do. Why? Because they got a vendetta or they want money. He canceled shows. His show's been pulled off the air. I would be canceling shows too if I get bitches sitting up there saying I rape people. Come on. Oh, he canceled the show because he said he, because women need to be saying he got raped. How can you do your stand-up when you got people accusing you something you didn't do? Why even continue on going on the tour, going on tour, being accused by women saying you raped them? You can't, you can't focus on doing your thing because you're getting accused of something you didn't do. See what I'm saying? But everybody else want to follow the damn, jump on the bandwagon and start accusing Bill Cosby of rape, and ain't nobody picked, paid a fucking attention. Tiger Woods. Michael Jackson went through the same shit as all these white people are saying this shit. I ain't trying to be racist towards white people, but you know what I'm saying. It's starting to look suspicious when it's only white people saying this is what happened. Because you've never seen a white celebrity actually cheated. Like, okay, here, Hugh Grant gets arrested for having sex with a black prostitute in the mid-90s. That's the only time you hear a white celebrity getting in trouble like that. But you never heard 17 or 18 black prostitute coming forward and said, oh, yeah, I had sex with Hugh Grant. You didn't hear that. But you would hear 17 to 18 women saying, I got raped by Bill Cosby or I had sex with Tiger Woods. Why is that?
which I don't understand why with 17 to 18 women would sit up there and say I get raped or I fucked a black celebrity but you will never hear 17 to 18 black women say I had sex with a white celebrity you will never hear that and I'll question that so fucking badly why ain't nobody questioning it because people really don't want to take a fucking look at it because they too hung up on a damn media's bullshit I ain't sitting up there defending the, the action of rape I'm not defending that but it makes me question the whole situation because how the media lays out this shit it's how I question it it's how these people are laying out this shit you got 17 white women coming up saying Bill Cosby raped me from from between 50 to 60 years ago that's 50 to 60 years ago that happened why wait from 50 to 60 years ago to say, say it now I got raped by Bill Cosby <laughs> And you know that this is not the right time. Like I know it's not, this is to me. I was gonna say it's not the right time, but to me it looks like it's like your timing is fucked up. Your timing is very fucked up. You could have came in at any time through Bill's Cosby career and say he raped me. That would have got him right there when he was doing what? When he did that movie Jack with Robin Williams. Why didn't nobody say nothing? Or when he started off his own show again back in the mid-90s on CBS. Why ain't nobody say nothing? When he did that movie, when they made his uh, cartoon show Fat Albert into a movie. Why didn't nobody say any damn thing if, they, if this happened? They had so many chances to sit up and say, I got raped by Bill Cosby. It's pathetic. They waited so fucking long. I can't believe them. I don't believe them. Because they waited too fucking long to prove that they've been raped. They can say, oh, I was drugged. Then anybody will believe it. I was drugged or I was drunk. That's it. That's all they can say. I was drugged or drunk. That's all they can say. And then they say, I was raped. They can say, rape, drugged, or drunk. That's it. The three main words. Rape, drug, and drunk and people will fall for that shit easily I can sit like I said I can sit there and say Neil Patrick Harris raped me in my ass and I didn't know because he drugged me in my damn drink that's all I had to say will people believe me I don't know will people believe me let me go to the media and say Neil Patrick Harris raped me in my ass and they'll say how would you know me and him had a drink and he put some drug in my drink and I, passed, and I, I just can't remember let me take his. Let me take Doogie Howser to court and say he raped me in my ass and see what happens and see how many other men come out the works and say Doogie Howser raped me in my ass. You won't see that shit. But when it's a black male actor or singer or rapper, you will get all these damn white bitches coming out the woodwork saying I was raped or I fucked them. That's all you was hearing in the media is these bitches saying I was raped or got fucked. I, I was raped or I fucked them. But you'll never hear a white a white male celebrity saying I had uh, getting accused of rape or having 18 mistresses on the side. You will never hear that. You know why? Because it's bullshit. Everything is vice versa within this whole bullshit. How can you sit there and accuse a man when I'm even backing up this shit? It's always the same. You always want to. I'm getting pissed. I'm thinking about it more. I'm getting frustrated. You can probably tell. You can probably tell. You. you can probably tell. I'm getting more pissed off because Janice Dickinson sat up there and said, "I was raped by Bill Cosby." Who wants to rape your ass? Back in the fucking nineties, what was it? Early nineties, you told everybody. You went to the media, told people that Sylvester Stallone was your baby daddy. And found out he wasn't. Janice Dickinson is such a fucking attention whore that nobody can't believe her. She had two, and who would walk around? Look, this woman sat there, this woman sat there and said she got raped by Bill Cosby, and she walked around with two pictures of Bill Cosby on her. What victim will walk around with two pictures of Bill Cosby on? For real, that is the question. What rape victim? will walk around with two 
pic two pictures of the person that raped you that is the question I want to know why would you walk around with two pictures of Bill Cosby saying that and you're accusing him of raping you drugging you and raping you that is one thing that I think is fucked up and you can y'all can sit up there and kiss my ass if y'all ain't paying attention this man is catching hell for it like I said, two other men that caught hell for it, Tiger Woods and fucking Michael Jackson, but you never sit up there and question this shit. Bill Cosby is catching all this hell and nobody's sitting up there paying attention. Why would they sit up there and accuse him now, right when, what, right when they finna indict the police that killed Michael Brown? For real, right when they right in the middle of they about to indict the police why would they do it now right between just to get our minds off the death of a child or to worry about another worry about blame going to another black person this is it's just something I don't understand it's like they ain't they act like black folks that are can do so wrong they are like people who are black folks that are celebrities like now I ain't trying to say it's like this, this man's trying to, this man's been in the business for so long, and he made a good image for himself, in which I don't understand whatsoever, the man that made an image for himself, and women coming out the woodwork seeing that he raped them, made me question why would you attack this man? This man, out of every person out there in the world, you attack a man that's been in the business for so long that had an image. I say that is the worst thing you can do is to blame somebody like Bill Cosby for raping. I would like I really can't say he raped them. I really can't say he did rape them or didn't, cause I wasn't there. I really can't say he did or didn't. But for someone to make those kind of accusations by heading to the media first before the police, it really puts it out there. You're in it for the attention or money. And that's all it is. Pay close attention to the shit that's in front of you. If they hit the media before they hit, if they contact the media before they contact the police, then it tells you they are a t uh, uh, what is attention whores. Because I wouldn't be hitting the the media first and say, "Hey, I got raped by Bill Cosby." I would hit up the police first saying, "Hey, I got raped by Bill Cosby." Not the media, but the police if he did rape you and if he raped you to back in 05 why relive it if he settled now now people say oh he did, he was guilty he was guilty Michael Jackson settled from all them people accusing him of raping kids molesting kids Molesting kids and y'all and now y'all can do it up there and still call Michael Jackson a pedophile because people coming out of the woodwork saying he raped their kids. And that's all it is. He's getting blamed for something we don't know if he did or not. He wasn't there. It's awfully funny how you can blame a black man for rape or having sex with 18 women, but when it comes down to a white man doing that kind of stuff, you do not hear about it. It is so vice versa with everything and crimes and all of this and that. And you sit there and you watch the media and they ain't telling you this black man, bitch, uh, rape, murder, whatever. And people believe it. And that's one thing I do not understand why. You give in to temptation and believe what the media tells you. I